here at Gear High restaurant which is famous for its fried crab rice and I am super excited. Uh, the reason why the, the name is Gear High is because here is uh, uh, the name of like older brother in Chinese. So yeah, so I'm really excited and I'm really hungry. So let's go. And before we do, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Here I can see a lot of like information given about the crab fried rice. So this crab fried rice, the insane crab fried rice is known to have Michelin for two years, 2020 and 21 to this year. So it's really famous and it's really, um, you know, revered by a lot of like celebrities and everything. So you can see there's a picture of a celebrity here, I think. Here we have some information about the crab, it's called crab anatomy and it is said that all the seafood that they use in this restaurant has come from the Surathani province where it's like all local, uh, you know, taken from local fishermen so it's a very good thing and yeah, and we have um, our menu so our number one must try is the insane crab fried rice this is what we're going to order so this is the best seller. I think this is why they won the Michelin Big Roman. And along with this, we're gonna try the stir-fried mantis shrimp with garlic and red pepper. So I've never tried anything like this. I've never tried the mantis shrimp, but I would love to. It looks amazing. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna order now. Okay guys, so we have already our um, two dishes that we ordered. So this is um, the Michelin Guide Crab Fried Rice. So what it looks like, it smells amazing. And this is grilled mantis shrimp. I've never seen anything like this, but it looks quite interesting honestly. And I can't wait to dig in. So I'm going to start with um, the fried rice. It smells really good because they use like a Chinese wok in order to make the fried rice. So like we you know the wok hay when like they, they cook it, there's like a aroma that comes out known as wok hay. So um, yeah, I'm going to try this with the seafood sauce because in their menu it says that uh, if you eat it together, it's going to give you extra kick, extra spiciness. So I'm going to do that take some for myself okay and I'm gonna take some uh, seafood sauce okay take a nice bite mm. The seafood sauce is really spicy, so you gotta be sure to take a little bit. The, the crab is cooked really well. The rice is very aromatic, very flavorful, and it's just perfect. Mm. Wow, amazing. I'm gonna try some mantis shrimp. See what it looks like. I'm gonna dip it in the seafood sauce. I can taste the garlic and um, a little bit of green onions on top. 
The seafoods are the best. It gives you a very strong flavor along with the mantis shrimp. And I think this is the first time I'm trying this, so I really, really like it. We definitely recommend it. Okay, Gates here is gonna try uh, the mantis shrimp for us. Yes. This is what it looks like. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like shrimp. Yeah, it looks like shrimp. Put some sauce. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like it. <laughs> All right. Now the fried rice. Fried, fried rice. Big bite. Yeah, big bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Fried meat, very sweet. Yeah. yeah. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. I really love it. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very nice. So I'm done with my plate and I had one of the best meals I've ever had. I think the crab fried rice is the best I've probably ever had or ever going to have. It is amazing with the tangy and spicy kick of the seafood sauce along with the, uh, the mantis shrimps. They were really good as well. They were very like tender and just like chewy and i've never tried a mantis shrimp so it was a very good experience firsthand so yeah it was a i loved it honestly and i would recommend you guys to come it is very easy to get here uh this restaurant is located in ekamai which is Sukhumit soy 63 it is located between ekamai soy 10 and 12 so if you are uh, taking public transport you can always get down at bts ekamai and or take a bike or a taxi all the all the way straight i think it's going to take like around 10 minutes to get here from the bts station so yeah it's very easy to get here and a very good experience as well how about you Gates? good 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 yeah so i hope you guys like this video uh please don't forget to click like share and subscribe bye